So it's been known for a number of years that certain families uh, have a number of people within them uh, who have breast cancer. And so there's always been a signal that uh, breast cancer had a genetic component. Now that said, most breast cancers that occur are not genetically related, and most women who develop breast cancer do not have an immediate or even a second degree relative uh, who's had breast cancer. But in those families where there is a lot of breast cancer, uh, it appears clear that there are genes within those families that predispose to the development of breast cancer. We can measure some of those genes or detect the presence of some of those gene abnormalities, especially two uh, that are very common uh, as causes for familial breast cancer, uh, and they're called BRCA1 and BRCA2. And again, we can actually test for those gene mutations, and if a woman is found to have a mutation in those genes, it greatly increases her future risk of developing breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, and depending upon the mutation, potentially uh, other cancers as well. And that predisposition can be passed genetically on to children. Knowing whether or not uh, a BRCA1 or a BRCA2 mutation is present can be very important. Uh, it's important in uh, screening for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Women that are known to have those mutations uh, have a different pattern of screening to detect cancers in those sites early. Uh, the treatment of their breast cancers in general is, is similar to the breast cancers uh, in women who do not have the BRCA mutations, although sometimes the biological behavior or biological type of breast cancer that the women have uh, is different than the usual uh, breast cancer. There are certain factors that we also look at to see who is likely to have a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation so that they should consider genetic counseling and testing. <clears throat> they include a number of people in the family, blood relatives uh, who have breast cancer or, or ovarian cancer, a diagnosis of breast cancer at a young age, uh, young age in this context is definitely under 40, and potentially in women between the ages of 40 uh, and 50. Uh, there are certain uh, ethnic groups who are more likely to uh, have one of these mutations uh, than other ethnic groups. Uh, Ashkenazi uh, Jewish women especially uh, have a high frequency uh, of this abnormality. Uh, and women who have bilateral breast cancer, different breast cancers in both breasts also have an increased frequency of having a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation.